I was heading deep into the heart of the English countryside to see an unusual robot vehicle, and I didn't know what to expect. And then I turned up, walked into the field. It looked awesome. Mantis is the biggest all-terrain operational hexapod in the world. Weighing in at two tons and at 2.8 meters tall, this six-legged lumbering robot has a top speed of just one kilometer per hour. So anyone piloting it wouldn't be expecting much g-force, but it's a prototype and its creator is Matt Denton. What kind of uses does this have that are beneficial? Well, uh, walking machines in general are tend to be better at terrain, very tricky terrain. This isn't exactly the world of science fiction made reality just yet, but its designer Matt believes hexapods could be developed to travel underwater and across treacherous landscapes. And although there's a long way to go before we see mantis scurrying across the wilderness, some of the tech is fascinating. With this particular machine and, and any hexapod really, the foot surface area is quite large compared to a human foot, mm -hmm. and it applies less pressure than a human foot when all six feet are on the ground which in theory means that hexapods can be used in environmentally sensitive areas. That in itself is quite amazing. The fact it doesn't even leave footprints. It's like Ninja Mantis, because you never know they've been there. The Mantis is driven hydraulically. Its 2.2 litre diesel engine drives a hydraulic pump, which in turn applies pressure to move the legs. An onboard computer controls all the various movements through a driver joystick, and the results are pretty impressive. The fluidity of the way that the mantis moves, the fact it, it literally sways, it was very organic, it was very real as a movement. I just couldn't wait to get myself in there. You have insurance, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mantis can be piloted or driven remotely by Wi-Fi. This enables Matt to monitor the controls and help me take one giant step for robot kind. So your left control is now your walking control. So let's just start by walking forwards a bit. So just push forwards on the stick. It was one of the easiest things I've been able to get to grips with. It is literally a case of using a joystick with your left hand rotating it, so twisting it to make the mantis rotate, pushing it forwards and backwards, left and right, or diagonally, and the mantis copies exactly the movement you're doing on the joystick. Twist it anti-clockwise, it'll wind the foot out of the ground. There you go. Wow! Okay, stop it there. Do you know what, it feels really, really steady and stable, even though I have yeah. one of the legs off the, off the ground. And it's... you can really find adjust as well. It's a very exciting technology. It's not necessarily one of the things I've tried where you get in and it's the thrill ride to start with, but I find it quite thrilling where this could head, what it can do. Mantis is still very much in its infancy, but stomping hexapods have taken a small step closer to becoming reality. This is one of the most unusual rides I think I have ever had on the Gadget Show. But it's brilliant. This the best camcorder ever made. What better way to find out than for the entire Gadget Show team to even have to put a finger to the keyboard? Video link has well and truly arrived. Here's how to get started. <laughs> 